Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. We are back uh, with another uh, episode um, of Quick Hits. Uh, really good day of boxing. I, I don't know what y'all thought of the Brona fight. I mean, I'm going to do a show on that tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> but it was a really close fight, and it got good down the end again. You know, it was competitive, um, even though there's not a whole lot left in Adrian Broner, unfortunately. Um but today's going to be on what Valdez just did to Miguel Bachel in that all Mexican war, which turned into that. Um, that was highly, highly unexpected. But before we get into that, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, smash the bell icon, uh, hit the notification button so we can get notified every single time uh, we go live. Like and subscribe. Um, again, quick hits come at you twice a day, real quick, just to keep you up to date on the world of boxing. Let's show everything that's going on. Tomorrow we'll do the Adrian Broner show um, as our one show. Sunday we do one show. Um, and right now we're going to focus uh, on what we saw in ESPN um, in the uh, Burchell Valdez fight, which was absolutely fire. Um, I got to say, I- I'm now 0 for 2. And my predictions of there's absolutely no way that one guy can win. I said it about Joe Joyce against Dubois. I said there was absolutely no uh, chance Valdez could beat Burchell. Um, I said <laughs> there was – didn't Burchell look extremely slow to you? I don't know if it was the weight cut um, or, or what it was, but I, I didn't know that it was going to be that slow. Right? Obviously, he's not Sugar Ray Leonard out there. I, I, I get that. But that was incredibly – incredibly slow. I don't know if he was fatigued, if he was weight trained, if the cut got to him. I don't know. That was awful. Um, He was competitive in, in, in the first couple of rounds. He did okay. Um, the judges actually had him winning after three, which most people did not. Um, but Valdez was just beating him to the punch. Valdez was having so many moments with the left hook, the lead hook. He was switching south pole to conventional, conventional to south pole. He was doing spectacular. He looked like he had some pep and stuff. I want to say this. Eddie Reynoso has just won trainer of the year. But what I mean, not just Canelo, but what he's done with Rye, Ryan Garcia, and now Valdez. Um, he's done an excellent job. He's got himself trainer of the year already, and it's only February. <laughs> But he's won the award already, for sure. Um, sensational job by uh, Reynoso and, and a sensational job by um, Valdez. Um, you know, first of all, I didn't know Valdez had that. I really didn't know Valdez had that in him. Um, he was moving again. I mean, he fought like this early in his career. But, he, I mean, he looked like trash against Jason Velez, who got knocked out brutally. He looked like trash against Adam Lopez, who's not – anything to write home about. Um, you know, he had, he was behind on the cards and it looks like, um, he's going to fight. Well, we'll get into that. This was so unexpected. Um, and he fought a brilliant fight. He fought the best fight I'd ever seen him fight. Even when he fought fights with Quig and, um, uh, Genevieve Savania, he never really looked good. (laughs) Right, like he won and he gutted it out, but he never looked spectacular. Like this is the best I ever saw him look. Um, so full credit to him and full credit to Reynoso. But he looked so quick in there. He was using the ring when he got that knock. Uh, when he got the knockdown and the fourth round, I believe it was. It looked like things were going to change, right? And not for his better. He when, when Burchell got through the round and Burchell's chin was dynamite. Valdez was teeing off on him, and he didn't be he was blocking punches with his face, and uh, most of them didn't seem to fade. But it was the a, a culmination. It was the, the culmination of power shots. It's just finally accumulation is what I'm looking for. Accumulation of the amount of power shots that he hit him with. That finally, and then the big one at the end absolutely took his head off. Knockout of the year. 
trainer of the year, performance of the year. All of that goes into what Valdez did today. Um, I don't know if this is going to be fight of the year, but it was a really good fight. Um, it looked like um, in sixth, seventh round, Brichel had seized momentum back and was walking down and starting to wear down Valdez. I thought Brichel was going to win. And then I, mean, I thought Brichel was going to win at that point. I thought he was going to break him down and stop because he was massively big. I mean, Brichel was huge in the ring compared to Valdez. And then Valdez flipped the script again. So this, this was like a pencil that was swinging back and forth. Uh, but full credit to Valdez. Now, where does Valdez go next? And then the knockout came. <laughs> that was sensational. Uh, I, I, heard, I don't mean to laugh. I heard Brichel is doing better. They took him to the hospital, but he's doing well. He was responsive. Um, so it, it seems like he's going to be okay. Whenever that happens, you know, pray for that guy because that was vicious. Um, that was vicious. Um, what am I saying? Oh, what, what happens for Valdez next? He called out Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson is going to be in the picture. Shakur Stevenson is going to be able to have that fight. He's going to be able to have the winner of um, Frampton and Jamal Herring. Jamal Herring, if he wants. Um, he's going to have a lot of options available to him. Um, I, I don't know if he chooses Valdez. He could. I think Top Rank's going to want to make that. It's a fun fight. I, I think Shakur Stevens in school. But I don't know. I said Burchell was going to absolutely one-way traffic him. And that didn't happen. Um, so, but that, Valdez is in a spot where he's got lots of good options. I would love to see a rematch. I don't know if that can happen. I don't know if Pertel can make 130 again, if he would even try to do that, if he's going to 135. I think he's fine at 135. He's so big and strong. I think 135 fits him well. Um, I know Valdez is going to want a um, Tank Davis fight at 130. I, I don't know if that happens. Um, I, for promotional reasons. But Valdez is going to have a lot of options. Um I think the most realistic option right now for him is Shakur Stevenson. But Shakur Stevenson and Jamal Herring should Herring win. is a highly attractive fight. It's a good fight. It's obviously makeable. You got a, a New Yorker and a New Jersey guy that obviously has a home in New York or Newark, wherever they want to put it. Both guys would have a, a strong fan base. It would sell a lot of tickets. I, I think that's a good option. Um, but Valdez is in a good spot here. Valdez is going to secure himself. He's a world champion, two division world champion, and for for me, I don't think about this was that good. And this was a uh, this changed my mind. This is kind of a career defining performance. This is kind of the win that he needed. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Were you as impressed with Valdez? Were you as shocked that Valdez was able to put this performance together? Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, like and subscribe. Um, Share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Quick hits. We come at you twice a day uh, with the latest box news. Keep you up to date. We'll be back tomorrow. Just one show a day on Sundays. Um, and the two shows every other day. Um, we'll be back with the Adrian Broner Show tomorrow to break that all down. Um, if that's the kind of content you're looking for, if you're looking to be coupled up to date in the world of boxing, please like and subscribe. Uh, it is February 21st, 2021. Ivan Calderon, the Iron Boy, is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get him in. The class 2021. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.